finally, the flowering of the aloe arborescence causes me to dig deeper into the question, is there any scientific evidence to support anti-cancer claims? And does it really matter how old the plant is? Aloe arborescence, family Asphodel asphodelaceae, native to South Africa, sometimes known as candelabra aloe due to these upright racemes. In Afrikaans, known as Krantz aloe, which means cliff aloe. And so we've planted it here among the rocks on the cliff, arborescent, that is tree-like, headed up by fleshy rosettes. A historic review of herbal anti-cancer formulas shows the universal presence of a laxative agent. Clearly, not only do you want to break up the toxins, but you also want to move them out of the system. The Hoxie formula contains buckthorn bark, an anthroquinone laxative. The Essiac formula contains turkey rhubarb root, also an anthroquinone laxative. Father Romano Zago of Brazil, 1932 to 1992, recommended the use of aloe arborescence to treat cancer. He didn't have to add any laxatives to his formula, which was basically raw honey, aloe arborescence, and alcohol, because aloe arborescence already has an anthroquinone laxative in it, aloe emodin. But is there any anti-tumor agent in aloe arborescence that differentiates it from other aloes. For instance, aloe vera it contains the polysaccharides, the aforementioned aloe emodin, but also glycoproteins, including a unique compound known as eloctin A, which is a T cell stimulator and an anti-tumor agent. The combined effects are anti-cancer, immunotonic, anti-diabetic, anti-inflammatory. And is there any scientific support to the claim that older plants are preferred over younger plants? Younger plants are actually higher in the aloe modin aspect. The older the plants get, the more they have the glycoproteins, including the loctin A. So there is veracity to the claim that older plants are better for the anti-cancer effects. The Active agents are higher during summer dormancy than during winter, which is when these plants flower. For more information on aloe arborescence, see my book.